Hey guys, Chris and Dylan from Grip It and Rip It. This is going to be a little different video. It's not going to be just about cars. This is a treat for you. This is a Leader Design T2 MK5. It's a it takes AR mags chamber in 556. Five, These are we're in Connecticut. These are only 10 round mags. They look like high cap, but they're limited to 10, so we're still legal. This is a pre-band before the assault rifle band, so this is legal as well. I own it. Everything's okay. This is a takes has a Winchester 180 bolt, has a gas chamber, an AK-47, and an HK-12 boxing and housing and everything all pinched well together. This the special thing about this gun. If you want to come here and look at the serial number, 1,599. There was only 2,000 of these ever made. They were made in Australia. Australia changed their gun laws. These are no longer legal in Australia. No semi-autos, I guess, are. So this was made in the 80s. There's only 750 of these that made it to the U.S. Only 750. Let's try it out. All right, guys. Last time I fired this thing was over a year ago. It's been in the safe ever since. I was having trouble with it before. I didn't quite take a good look at it. I believe it was the ejector right here on the bolt. Every time I go to cycle around, fire around, the bolt will come back and try to cycle around. It won't eject it fully and get caught in the carrier. We're gonna see, hopefully it doesn't give us trouble right now, but I'll give you an idea how this thing runs. And the charging handle is on the outside. It's not like a regular AR where you got your charging handle on the back and just a quick pin. It's on the left side of this firearm. See how it goes. Clear. 750 US guys. All right guys, so we took the door apart on the Saturn. Uh, again, this is fiberglass. Fiberglass panels, bodywork. We're gonna show you what a 5.56 does to it, which is what Dylan just shot right by my ear. Here's what it does. Completely went through the outside, no problem. Through that door panel. Came through here. Goes through the inside panel. Gonna walk around the car. So you can see it ended up coming through the glove box, through the door, through the glove box, the e-brake, skim the seat into the passenger door, right out the other side, no problem. And wherever it hitting the mattress and the dirt over here, there's a big hill over here, so that's no issue of bullets going anywhere. So, uh, Two five five sixes, yeah. Steel rounds. I mean, they basically go through anything. I mean, not everything, but they're a high velocity round. They just light grain bullet, but they just move. And the only thing that's going to stop them is a big impact. But hey, velocity kills armor, speed kills armor, as they say. So there you go. Five five six. Thank you guys.